Welcome back to the Triple D YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing builder gel on short nails. I'm Toby Nails over on Instagram or Carolnet here on YouTube, and I just chopped off all my nails, chopped them down to shorties. So I want to show you guys how to put builder gel on your natural nails. If you didn't know, Builder gel can be used as an overlay to protect your natural nails. It's not just for nail extensions or long nails. I have my Triple D Builder Gel brush here, and I also have her three mini pack brushes. I'm going to be using the square one today in today's video, just to show you guys that these mini brushes can be used with Builder Gel. So the first thing you want to do is sanitize your nails. I am spraying 70% isopropyl alcohol on my nails and I'm going to wipe them down with a cotton pad. The best part on doing builder gel on natural nails is you don't have to mess with forms or tips or anything. So to get started, I apply two layers of protein bond onto my nails. This part is optional. I just personally find that it works great for my nails and helping the builder gel really stick on there and I don't have issues with lifting. Let that dry between coats. So when you go in for your second coat, make sure this one is dry. It's going to dry tacky though, so it's not going to fully dry. Just it won't have a shiny layer. It won't be as shiny as when you first applied it. And then when the second layer is dry, then you can go ahead and put on your gel base. So you're going to apply a thin layer of gel base to all of your nails. That's another thing I love about shorties. I don't have to use as much product as I would with long nails. Now, if you're going from long nails to short nails, you are going to have to adjust the amount of liquid that you have on your brush. If you're used to working with long nails, you're used to working with a lot more product on your brush. So you're definitely gonna have to cut down the liquid by at least half. Go ahead and pull out your nail lamp and then cure it for 60 seconds. This lamp is a 48 watt lamp, but I have used Builder Gel with 36 watt lamps before and it works perfectly fine. So just make sure you have a decent wattage and not a super old lamp to make sure the Builder Gel works. So look how shiny that is. We are going to add some bulk. So I'm pulling out my pink Opulent Builder Gel. This is the mini size that came in the December Diva box. So it's brand new, I haven't even used it yet. So I'm gonna actually show you guys how I go about opening my builder gel. I kind of make a little hole in there with my tweezers and then I take my little nail scissors and I cut a circle halfway around the builder gel. When I'm done cutting, I take my tweezers and peel it all the way back and it comes off flawlessly. And look how pink that builder gel is. It is so pretty. When it goes on our nails, it's not gonna look that pink because the black bottle is what's making it look super duper pink. So again, like I said, I'm gonna be using the flat brush here today and I'm probably gonna use the really, really skinny one to get in the corners. When I pick up my builder gel, I glide it across the top of the builder gel. I do not dunk it in there. So you'll see only one part of my brush is coming in contact with the builder gel, not the entire both sides. And then when I flip it over, you can see that there's a decent sized bead here. Since I'm working with shorties, I am going to have to adjust the amount of builder gel that I apply on my nails. I do want to stress the importance of not dragging the brush across your nail, but floating it. Allow the product to move around the nail. So the brush isn't the thing that's dragging across the nail, it's the builder gel. So I know that sounds weird, but trust me, float it, don't drag it. And then if it's not fully covering your nail, don't worry, you're just gonna have to go in to your builder gel bottle for another bead of builder gel. Thank you. 
this is your first ever Triple D Builder Gel video that you're ever watching, I highly recommend after you're done going to watch the tips and tricks video for Builder Gel. There's a few tips and tricks mentioned in there that while we do them in every single Builder Gel video, we don't really elaborate or specify it, but they're just things that I think everybody should know when they're playing around with Builder Gel. Because of how deep set my nails are, I do have to pay extra attention to my sidewalls to make sure that Builder Gel is covering every single nook and cranny on my nails. So I'm actually taking the thin nail brush and getting in those corners. Of course, you don't have to do this. I just like to pay the extra attention to the nail. So far, I'm pretty satisfied with the nail. So we're gonna flip it to the side and see the curve. I think it's pretty good curve. Of course, short nails don't need an apex, but I do like them to have a little roundness. So I flip my hand upside down for the builder gel to level in the center of my nail bed in order for me to get like a nice curve. So you'll see me do this several times throughout this video. And the main reason for that is so that my nails have a nice, natural, pretty curve. If you find that builder gel is pulling too much towards your cuticle or your free edge, all you have to do is take your nail brush and then focus the builder gel on the center of the nail. So I'm gonna grab my brush and just draw a line down the center of the nail. This way it just grabs the builder gel and focuses it on that area. Then you can obviously flip your hand upside down, let it pull for 10 to 15 seconds and flash cure it. I'm going to repeat everything I just did on my ring finger here. We're going to do a total of three nails here today. So this one's going to be a little bit faster than the last one, but I'm going to repeat everything that I found important to emphasize on. So make sure that you're floating the brush, not dragging it. That way the product is going on the nail and you're not just smearing a thin layer on there. So repeat and add more builder gel as needed. I'm going to compare my middle finger to my ring finger so you can see the difference in arch. So my ring finger that I'm working on now has no arch because I haven't focused on building the arch in the center and I haven't flipped my hand upside down. So I hope that shows why it's so important for me to flip my hand upside down so that the builder gel can self level. See just five or 10 seconds of playing with the builder gel and that arch already looks better. So I'm gonna flip my hand upside down so it can self level and then look at it again and then do any touch ups that I need to as needed. I really do like the pink opulent builder gel. I find that it hides any flaws that you might have on your natural nail. So you can see the ring and the middle finger differences between the rest of my fingers, which have no gel product on it. So I'm gonna flash cure these nails for 10 to 15 seconds. That way I make sure that the product sets in place and so that my builder gel does not move around while I'm working on the rest of my nails. So I really like the curvature on these. So I'm gonna work on my pinky next. This one is like my flattest nail out of all of my nails. So I'm gonna repeat everything I just did for the third time.
So that was a super tiny thin layer. So you can see I don't really have a lot of product on that nail. So I'm going to add a little bit more and then work and build it up. That's what I love about Builder Gel is it's buildable and you can really just build any shape that you want on your nails. And I'm going to do the little stripe thing down the center of the nail like I did before. So I'm just taking a little bit of Builder Gel and just applying it down the center. So it's focusing it in the middle. That way it creates a nice curvature. And if you really want it to all pull towards the center, just flip your hand upside down for 10 to 30 seconds. It's really up to you how long you want to do it for and then cure your hand to flash cure everything in place. So I've cured everything for 60 seconds. It requires 60 seconds to fully cure your nail. And now that I'm done applying my builder gel, I'm just going to take rubbing alcohol and then wipe off the tacky layer because you will notice that if you touch it with your finger after it comes out of the nail lamp, it is sticky. That doesn't mean it didn't cure, that just means that it has a tacky layer on it and it needs to be removed so that it's nice and shiny. You don't even have to apply a gel top coat at this moment. If you are happy with the smoothness and the shape and everything, you can just go on and live your life the way it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out Triple D on Instagram for more content.